everywhere. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau was in Winnipeg Thursday, meeting with Manitoba Premier Heather Stephenson in a day-long visit to the city. Trudeau meeting with Université de Saint Boniface nursing students in the morning, speaking to the French language university students about a future in healthcare. <laughs> Trudeau, along with a few Manitoba Liberal MPs, made a stop at Stanley Knowles Children's Centre in the afternoon, meeting with kids and parents, but no funding announcement was made for childcare in Manitoba. <laughs> but it was his one-on-one -on -one meeting with Manitoba's Premier that was the most anticipated part of the Prime Minister's agenda, with the carbon tax being a hot topic of conversation. Trudeau told reporters that some Premiers aren't being honest about the impact of Ottawa's carbon tax on average families. In the places like Manitoba where uh, the federal price on pollution applies, average families get more money back from the price on pollution than the extra price on pollution costs them. Families deserve to get more money in their pockets at a time uh, when uh, we're facing challenges around affordability. Stephenson has called on the feds to temporarily suspend the carbon tax in order to help people deal with rising inflation, even sending a joint letter with Alberta Premier Jason Kenney and Saskatchewan Scott Moe earlier in the year. But on Thursday, the Atlantic Premier has asked Ottawa for a short-term extension on the carbon plan deadline, only 24 hours before Ottawa is set to make a decision on the national carbon tax. We did discuss that there are some issues that we have to agree to disagree on. On Wednesday, the Manitoba government announced an $87 million family affordability package for families and low-income seniors to help fight rising inflation. In the half-hour meeting with Trudeau, Stephenson says she urged the federal government not to take money out of Manitobans' pockets. We've asked for a pause on this. We will continue to ask for a pause. Manitobans need that money now. So rather than taking the money away from them and going through re and all this, just leave the, the money with them. Stephenson says she and the Prime Minister also discussed immigration, infrastructure and the war in Ukraine. In Winnipeg, Alex Carpa City News.